Okay guys, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through uh, with my vise. This is kind of a cool vise. This is a, a Wilton vise from Chicago, a really old one uh, that I had uh, from a guy who had restored it. So anyways though, let's get back to what we're really after here. So I want to get these off here and so I'll kind of just have you watch me what I'm doing to to get these off so bear with me one second so I got one of these out already so again I need to know from you guys if this is is this stainless um, not really sure doesn't stick to a magnet so I'm not really sure I want to say that it is I don't I don't think it has uh, the consistency and lightweight as um, aluminum so it's kind of heavy Maybe I'll weigh it out later for you guys, so set that down for now. Anyway, so what I'm doing into this is I'm actually going in. i got to squeeze this apart to get it off, so I'm just sticking it in the vise here to squeeze that out. Seems to be the best way right now. So I'll squeeze it pretty tight to get it kind of ovaled out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And then what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some longer pliers here. And I'm just kind of squeezing it, and it just kind of walks right off of there. It's kind of simple. So I get that out, and then I just simply come in here and I just cut this out down on the, the hose. Takes a couple passes just to get all the way down, and then it pops right out. So there's my big chunk of aluminum, and then I got to take those off later. So what I've been doing, I guess I'll show you real quick. Get the hose off. Um, basically, just kind of manhandling these pieces. I'm just coming in here and I'm grabbing this, the little tip right here, and uh, breaking that off. So I break that piece off, and then that allows me to kind of grab and bend this up. There's a little spring under here. I just pulled that spring out. So again, that all that part right there is all metal. And then hopefully that's not let me get it all the way. Once it goes in, that's all I need to do is push it in there. Use a little screwdriver just to push that little tip. And that should release it, yeah. And then I can simply grab that and just pull it right out. And so, once I get that little piece out right there, it just falls right out. I got my solid piece of, uh, like, billet aluminum. So, it's pretty cool. So, there's that piece. Um, like I said, again, non-magnetic, nothing sticks. Um, but between the two pieces out of all these hoses I have that I showed you earlier in my, in my first video, that that's what this is. It's, um, this is heavy. This is light. I think that's pretty, I checked and scratched that. That's aluminum. And this I think is, um, gosh, what did I say that this is? Space in my brain right now. I think. Yeah, stainless steel. Okay, I think this is stainless. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to finish uh, going through all the rest of those hoses, get them all off, and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. All right, after we're all said and done, ended up with uh, 28 of those connections there. Got those all pulled off. I still got to get these metal tabs off, but that'll be for another time. And I ended up with 21 of these guys. So, I don't know guys, let me know. Is that aluminum or is that stainless? So, that's the haul from that uh, dumpster dive. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.